Hi everyone and welcome to my new video. A while back I asked if you'd like to see a weekly spreads video and some of you were interested in it, so that's what we are going to do today. By the way, if you haven't seen my April bullet journal setup video yet, go check it out. I will leave a link to that in the description box where I have also listed all the supplies that I used in this video. Let's start off with the first weekly spread. I was actually filming an Instagram reel at the same time, which was a bit chaotic, and you might see my phone in some part of this video. Anyway, I started off by writing the week numbers and mini calendar on the top left corner. As you can see, I'm going to include two weeks in this one spread, and you will see soon how I will do that. I went for this layout which has some empty space on both sides, where you can write highlights of your week or some random notes for example. As I didn't include one line a day spread in my monthly setup, I wanted to have a place where I can focus on the good things that happened and that's what the highlight section is for. Below the highlights I added a small pot full of daffodils for decorations. I tried to keep these weekly spreads more on the simple side and because of that I didn't add a lot of different doodles. If you'd like to save even more time when setting up your bullet journal, you can always use stickers or leave out the decorations completely. I personally just like to have at least one doodle on every page because it otherwise feels a bit too minimalistic and drawing is a great way to improve your artistic skills. By the way, I would love to hear how the weather is where you live. We had a lot of sunny days in March, but in the last week we actually got quite a lot of snow. Here in Finland we have this word called takatalvi, and there isn't actually an English translation to that word, but basically it means like a winter comeback and it always happens when you think that spring has finally begun. Because the snow melts easily we have a lot of sluss on the streets and it can also be very slippery. I was actually babysitting my parents dog last week and I had to wash his paws after its walk because it was so wet outside. He's a rough collie so he has quite long and thick fur which gets dirty very easily in the rainy weather. I'm now making a Dutch door so I can have two weeks in this one spread. I love making Dutch door weeklies as they save a lot of time because you have to decorate the page only once. And I think they look really nice as well. Here you can see a little sneak peek on how I film reels. I use the Instagram app on my phone when I'm filming and I edit the reel as I go. In case you are interested in seeing how the reel turned out, go check out my Instagram account which has the same username as I have here. I will also leave a link to that in the description box. Anyway, back to the weekly spread. I only started making dot stores last year because the idea of cutting the journal felt quite scary <laughs> and I didn't want to waste paper. I previously thought that dot stores are helpful when you need extra writing space, which I usually don't and that's why I never made them. I think the first time I saw this kind of dot store weekly was when I was watching Anna from Journal Away making one. Last year I was really busy with writing my master's thesis, so I finally decided to try making this in my own journal and I've been loving dot store weeklies ever since then. If you are someone who likes decorating their bullet journal but doesn't have a lot of time to do that, I would highly recommend trying out dot stores and especially dot store weeklies. Anyway, on the right side I made a playlist section where I will add a song I've been listening to during these two weeks. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the new song as it was from Harry Styles as I've been listening to it on repeat this week and I don't see myself getting bored with it very soon. I would love to find more songs to my playlist though, so leave your favorite song or artist in the comments. To decorate the playlist section I doodled this small sunset which was very simple and quick to do. I didn't sketch it beforehand and if I would draw this again I would probably leave the grey lines out as it made the sky look a little bit too busy. To make the box pop out a bit more I added a light grey grid on the background as I really like how it looks. Next I moved on filling the rest of the page. I decided to add a short quote which goes like this. 
balance isn't something you'll find, it's something you'll create. This quote really resonated with me as I sometimes struggle with finding the balance between working and not overworking, for example. I have realized that most of my stress and struggles come from procrastinating, which might be related to my perfectionism and fear of failure. So this quote is a reminder for me that I can create the balance I need when I plan my time better and start doing things earlier than the last minute. Anyway, below the quote I also added a section for notes where I usually write some things I need to remember or do next week. Now that the first weekly spread is done, I'm actually setting up the second one. I like to use a different layout for each of my weeklies because that way I'm more motivated to use my journal. I know I'm going to be a bit more busy this week as I'm going to be working on my May plan with me and because of that I'm going to make a running task list where I can track how long it takes for me to finish one task. On the top I have sections for events and appointments so I can keep track of those as well. I also have a section for journaling because I always like to write something about my days. I usually write something that I did on that day or what made me happy or if I was having a bad day I will write that as well. The bottom of this spread was looking a bit empty so I again added some washi tape for decorations. These great washi tapes are from the washi tape shop and if you would like to buy some washi tapes there you can always use my affiliate code TNPUJO10 for 10% off. After adding the washi tape and this cute flower sticker from Och Monica, I felt like the spread still looked a little bit too simple and because of that I added some grey lines to the running task list and also made these grey boxes. After adding the grey details, the event box looked a little bit too pale so I went over it with a darker brown color. I think this was a good choice as the box now catches your eye more and it balanced out the weekly spread nicely. And now for the last weekly spread. I again started off by writing the week number and mini calendar on the top left corner. I don't really need the week numbers but I still like to add them in because they give a nice header to the weekly spread and it makes it look more like a real planner for me. Last year I actually messed up my week numbers and I didn't notice until over 6 months had passed by, so now I'm always double checking that I'm writing the correct one. Anyway, for this layout I decided to make these 12 by 12 boxes for the days of the week. I feel like these kinds of square boxes have the perfect amount of writing space for me as I can fit some daily tasks and a few lines about my day in them. By the way, when I'm writing the days of the week in this kind of layout, I always like to go from left to right and then add the last days on the second row of boxes. This way the weekly spread is somehow easier for me to fill in. For the decorations I again doodled some daffodils as I didn't really know what else to draw. I could have made a bigger illustration in this weekly as well, but I just didn't feel like it. Sometimes drawing the same things is comforting and you don't have to think about it too much. By the way, I would love to hear if you have any team ideas for me. As I said in my April monthly setup, I had a really bad art block and sometimes coming up with a new theme is difficult. I think I have one idea in mind for May, but I would love to hear which themes you would like to see still, as having a list of ideas would be very helpful in the future. Anyway, to finish off this illustration, I added some white highlights with a jelly roll and also some lines with a black pen because the flowers looked a little bit too simple. After adding the weekdays in the mini calendar, I moved on to the notes section where I added some light grey lines. As I have quite a lot of writing space for notes, I will probably write some tasks I have to get done during this week as well. In the beginning of the week, I like to write those tasks in the notes section first and then add them in my daily boxes. Speaking about boxes, I felt like the bottom right corner looked a little bit empty, so I decided to add this Kingham batter in it. I decided to use the same light grey for this because I felt like the spread needed some cool tones as well. 
On the top of the Kingham pattern, I added some textured papers from Notebook Therapy, which added a tiny bit of warmth to balance out the grey. I wanted to add a quote on top of the textured papers and I decided to use some stamps for that. The quote I chose is, you got this, which is just some simple words of encouragement we all probably need to hear sometimes. And now it's time for the final flip through. I really like how the Dutch Store Weekly turned out. This layout is one of my favorites to do and I can't wait to start using it next week. I also had fun with filming this video, even though it was a bit chaotic, because I basically had three cameras recording at times. I don't think I'm going to do this every month, because I use the same layouts all the time, but I can definitely make this every now and then if you would like to see them. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and maybe leave a potted plant emoji in the comments if you watch till the end. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!